Hello everyone, my name is John Melisondra and today I'm going to teach you how to paint this wonderful landscape painting. Uh, so today I'm going to paint something like uh, a landscape with, uh, with a big tree and I don't know what uh, will come out but I'll just try to put something like uh, uh, different things that I wanted to put on the landscape. Okay, and please don't forget to subscribe you have, if you haven't subscribed it and hit the bell button if you want to receive some future notification my new videos and tutorials. Okay, you can see all the materials needed in the screen. You can see the five limited colors, the brushes that we're gonna need, and all the things that we need to paint this painting. Okay, so I'm going to start now. And I'm going to do first with the sketching. I have here the number two and flat brush. So I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna use this one for the sketching. Okay, so you have no. And I'm gonna put a little white to make it a little grayish. So uh, I will try to put my rice on here on the a little bottom part because I want to show more uh, the mountains, something like that. And here. I'll try to put some some trees and I'm going to try to put a big tree here with the uh, huge branches okay so it will be a little different thing and then yeah here I'll try to put uh, some trees also And then here will be like a, a huge mountain, greenish mountains. And I will leave the, the sky bright, or light blue, something like that. Okay, so I'm going to start now. I am done with the sketching, so I will just sketch, sketch later the entire a tree everyone but it will be a really big tree with a big branches something like that there maybe I'll try to put some one one small uh, bridge here yeah that will be good Okay, yeah. so I think this will be a good plan, everyone, and I'm excited with this one. Okay, so I'm going to start now. Okay, so I'm going to, yeah, but uh, everything will change, I'm not sure. So I'm going to fill everything with the colors first. I'm gonna do with, I'm gonna go with the step two, which is the underpainting. So I have here blue with the white. So I think this is too much. I'm going to put some more white because uh, I don't want to put so much bright sky now, everyone. Because uh, I'll just cover it with a uh, with a uh, tr tree. I am using the number 12 nano flat brush. There. Yeah. And then I'm going to mix for red and the blue for a little purple color. And then white. Yeah. 
yeah, I think that's even uh, dark everyone but uh, I will make it later later I just fill everything with this color this with a little darker color I'm gonna put some more blue and the red and then white You can add a second coat for that for the background because I think it's just too thin. I need to make it thicker. Should be thick enough, everyone, that you cannot see if anything behind. Okay. There. It's now thick. And then I will try also to put on the on the reflection missing color. there and then I will try to put some field yeah uh, I'm going to clean my brush I have here some yellow and the red yeah a little orange field everyone I'm not really sure if I'm going to put something here, but I'll try. I'll try to put the river, maybe no. Because I'm always putting the river, everyone. <laughs> maybe no. I just uh, want to make it so simple, everyone. But I'll try to make this field. Uh, orange uh, maybe some more darker greens yeah with blue yellow and the raw umber
okay so i'll try to check if it's dry or not so it's still wet everyone so i'm gonna let it dry first for at least five minutes and we can go back adding some more details okay everyone so i think the paints are already right now and i'm going to start adding the details now so here i will add one more coat and then here okay so i think it's not so much solid so i need i need to make sure that everything's solid before i'm gonna add the details so here i have here again the blue and the red to make some uh, bluish purple and then white still dark i'm going to add some more white you need to adjust everyone i want this part to be a little lighter but i have to make it uh, much more bluish i'm using now the number 12 uh, number 8 nanopat brush, brush a smaller brush there that's some white it's okay everyone if uh, i'm going to cover it later on uh, with the tree here so you don't need to make it so much perfectly good also this one i'm going to mix again another color so it should be uh, the same with this color here the same mixtures even though if it's not so much the same but it's fine so yeah i need to i need to do this one first everyone i need to put something here i need to start adding the trees now but i will be using a smaller brush so i will start now using this number two nylon flat brush is small flat brush i have okay so i will mix now blue and the yellow with some white this time it will be much more blue to make it like a blue green uh, we can make it a little lighter always remember everyone the color should be lighter than the background These are the trees, everyone. So you can do the topping technique like this.
okay so I need to fill everything here so we need to do it uh, slowly everyone so here I will cover it later on so I will not put so much here Maybe I will try to use a bigger brush now. This uh, bristle flat brush, everyone. Maybe this uh, can make uh, everything faster. Uh, again, blue and the yellow. I'm gonna refill some white. a little white there these are some trees everyone so can use the tapping technique here I'm gonna add a little white I also put here but uh, some parts will be covered everyone so it will not be so much important and now I will try to put more white and a yellow So here I'll try to put more highlights. There. These are in uh, Faris everyone, so you can see uh, you should expect the highlights there. there so at least you can see now the lights here in this part and it looks good it actually looks realistic and I like it okay that looks good everyone uh, yeah I will stop like that because maybe later some parts will be covered so I'll just do it for now like that and I will proceed uh, downwards here. Okay. I will put some 
uh, trace here but it will be much darker so I will use again this brush the bristle flat brush uh, number I know I mean a uh, number eight another flat brush so I'm gonna mix again for blue and the red but this time I'm gonna put a little rue umber and white rue umber and then white it will, it will become much more gray yes now everyone because I'm gonna put here something like trees or forest we can add a little white and then maybe a little yellow to make it greenish everyone dirty greenish I like that see this one is good not so much dark so these are also faris here So tapping technique. There. So we have now a very straight forest. And now I'm going to add uh, more bluish. And I will try to make some reflections. The reflection is kind of bluish. I'm going to try to make it much more bluish. Just pull it down like this. There. Okay, not too much. And then I will try to mix for green. So I'm gonna clean my brush. Just green everyone and then white uh, blue and the yellow there okay then just the topping technique You can blend a little. I try to blend on the background, so it's blended good. Okay, so I'll try to use the bristle flat brush now. I will try to put much more yellowish. Put it on the top, everyone. To create much more highlight uh, on the forest or the trees. Just put it. Uh, just put on the tip of the brush uh, the the paints so that you can create better highlights. There. 
can add a little white or maybe red yeah red and yellow there I can put uh, like an autumn okay there so it's now become brighter and then using this color get one just uh, drag it down like this to create a reflection this is the same orange drag it down like that and also don't forget the greens Just drag it down like that, drag it down to create, uh, to copy whatever you see on the top. That's how I'm gonna create. See, it's now a good reflection. And I will put now the water lines on the here. I'll try to put the water lines. So I'll be using this brush. I think I'll use another brush. Yeah, here. Yeah, it's a number two than a fast brush, a small brush. And I have here the white. Maybe a little uh, brownish or the umber. I'm gonna mix it with white. see uh, the water becomes realistic okay that's it yeah, do not overdo it everyone just uh, come do something like that the water will become look realistic now yeah it looks good it's very simple and looks good looks pretty realistic okay so i'm thinking what i'm gonna need to put more so here everyone i will try to make this part darker because i'm gonna put uh i'm thinking everyone so yeah maybe i will just put a light uh, yellowish here so that uh, it, will, it can create contrast to this background yeah so that would be my plan I'm planning to put uh, plants there but yeah maybe I will just divide it plants with a uh, yellowish color or maybe some flowers something like that but here but I'm going to try to put something uh, an autumn tree here so I will try to put uh, red, a little blue, and a yellow. Yes, or yellow. So here. These are random trees everyone but I want them to be looking like colorful trees. So I'm using the number uh, 
10 bristle flat brush it's a white bristle everyone it's hard yeah just just a tapping technique okay now i will try to use some yellow on this brownish here uh, i mean red to make some orange and then white So here everyone, let's try to put some uh, grasses here. I want to put some grassland here. But I want it to be very bright in colors. So it will become much more attractive when we put so much uh, put brownish color there or yellowish. So I'll just drag it down like this using the bristle flat brush. You can see everyone some orange color there. There. So you can also see some brownish under under and the colors okay so we can put more I want to put some river here but uh, I will keep it simple for today I will, I will not make so much uh, things there okay So we can see now some brownish stone here everyone. That's good. I'll scat it here. What I like about this bristle flat brush, it can create beautiful textures. Uh, these textures will look like um, different uh, textures of the grasses. Yeah, so it's good everyone. I recommend this kind of brush always have like this brush it's better for the textures I want some more umbra so put it here okay and now I'll try to use some yellow there so again just tapping technique Yellow will come, uh, everyone will become it, uh, will be, make it uh, a little brighter. There. So yellow here. So this is really looking like a yellow field now. But all yellow fields are attract attractive in painting everyone. So it's really good to put like this kind of field compared to green fields. I don't know why but it's uh, most attractive because of the colors, the warm and the cold colors here it collides into one and right here you can use the tapping technique
there some brownies also here so just topping technique everyone you can actually create it little by little and then some yellowish to create the uh, highlights just uh, follow the pattern of my hands there you can you can position your uh, brush like that so that you can create a better textures on the top there yeah so that looks good I have now some beautiful yellow or golden field. So this field is looking very, really realistic in the distance. And I will try to uh, add details on the tree. So I'll be using the same brush, the bristle flat brush. I have here the yellow and the and the, and the red here. It's golden color. And slowly. The light will be coming from the light right side, so slowly everyone can create. Details or highlights uh, using the tapping technique. there you can uh, create a solid beginning uh, like like this and then slowly uh, drop the color something like that We'll add more a yellow everyone so that this will become really really bright. I want the uh, brighter highlights also in this part. There. Just put the uh, the tip uh, the paint on the tip of your brush everyone and then it will be good. So we have now beautiful golden tree okay so i will be using a small brush now uh, the liner brush numbers uh, double zeros so here i have a uh, row umber so i will just use directly the row umber 
So this is enough for me. Uh, we'll mix. I have a darker mixed color there. And then let's put some. Tree trunk. Still wet. Careful, everyone. There. Okay. So here. Like that. Okay. So we need to put some more branches. And also here. It's just a bit. That's why you need to choose your brush, everyone. Uh, you can use new brush because I uh, have a smaller uh, bristle. Uh, I mean, smaller tip. And then you can put the highlights. So just show umber and the white. Okay, and then don't forget the the casted shadow. So just here darker brown. We can put it here. So we the casted shadow everyone. So the shadow, casted shadow will be on the left. There. Yeah, so that's it. We have now a beautiful trees. And those trees are really good everyone it looks pretty realistic also i really like those trees now okay so i'm going to proceed i'm going to put now the biggest tree there i'm going to put the big tree so this will be the highlight of this painting so here uh this is where i'm gonna put the big tree everyone it will be a very big tree here so i will be using the big brush i have I mean the medium size uh, flat brush here, number eight. So we have here, yeah, uh, the raw umber. So I'm planning to put it here. So this is gonna be a big beautiful tree. I want to create a detailed uh detailed uh body everyone or trunk There. 
So I'm gonna put the first trunk here. It's gonna be a really huge trunk uh, branch. Another one here. There will be a lot of uh, branches, everyone. Just a little wet. So it's good to put a, a lot more everyone. I think this uh trunk is not enough so I'm gonna make it a little bigger okay yeah yeah I just covered a beautiful view <laughs> good luck to me okay So I'm going to put now uh, some uh, some a uh, few what do you call this a uh, few uh, leaves. So here I think I will use uh, the bristle flat brush now everyone for the trees uh, for the three leaves. So I'm mixing again some blue, but it will be dark darker blue. Put some more umber. Umber and the blue. Yeah, I can also try to unburn the blue. That's why you don't need to make the uh, sky everyone good because uh, we just have to cover it.
Okay, so that's it. So I think I will put now some uh, dark colors on the branches. Also some more branches, everyone. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna need to put more branches there because I think it's, uh, we need more. So I just cover my entire background. <laughs> yeah, I just cover with this tree, big tree. Okay, so let's put some dark uh, branches. So I'm gonna mix for blue and the red to make some uh, dark purple. So this will just become the, my black, everyone. I don't use any black here. I'm using the uh, number one brush, uh, number uh, double zero uh, flat brush. I mean, uh, sorry. It's a double zero a round brush, everyone, or liner brush. Uh, actually, we can let it dry first, but I cannot wait because uh, I do not want to spend so much time. And put our warm bar on to make it brownish. Yeah. Or we can let it dry first. Because it's still so wet, everyone. It's hard to put details on the wet paints. Because uh, this is part it should be dark, and because uh, it's inside, uh, it will be covered by the leaves also. The shades of the leaves will be covered by this. So basically, uh, this part should be dark, very very dark. Also, you can use black if you want. Uh, if it's still not. Uh, good in using the without black so you can use the black but it's good to uh, try to mix everyone you can, you can learn more by mixing the colors
there. And quite more branches also here. Yeah, so everything is still wet. So maybe I'll just do it a little slowly. There, so we have now a very beautiful tree. Even the form, we want to like it. It looks good. Yeah, and this, it looks bright. <laughs> yeah, maybe I'll try to put first some some uh, some highlights on the bottom part. No, no, I mean casted shadow. Before I will try to put uh, the details there. Okay. So let's put some colors first on the or shades or casted shadow something like that. So I'm gonna put casted shadow before I'm going to add I'm going to put details here everyone, some highlights, something like that. I want it to uh very realistic here. I want it to be really that showing that it's it's been hit by the lights, okay. Okay, so I'm going to put some casted shadows using the bristle flat brush. First, I'm going to use this uh, raw umber uh, with some yellow. So here. So tapping technique everyone. to put also dark so dark here there okay and now I will try to use this dark green here everyone I'll try to put some Group of uh, group of uh, bushes or plants. This plant will be a little different. So I will mix for now yellow and the blue. So I'll just use this very pure yellow and the blue everyone. There. 
so slowly there tapping technique there Okay. There. So we have now some trees there are small bushes, small plants. But it's different than the other because uh, it's uh, greenish. There. Can also put it here so that uh, it's not just here but also here. And I will try to make it a little lighter by adding some white. I'll try another uh, yellow. To make the highlights are brighter everyone, you can put more yellow and white. there so it's now brighter and also here okay and then I will also put uh, some yellowish grasses there not just that everyone because uh, I need to put also another kind of plants. So here I have yellow and then a little red. So I can also put some grasses. Later one we can use a uh, lighter color. I will try to put much more yellow here. But this time it should be a lot lighter.
there. Here, everyone, you can add a little more highlights. Uh, maybe later, everyone, I'm going to try to put a pathway there. But for now, it's really, really good. You can see different kinds of plants there, not just the yellowish, but also the greenish plants. So it's a good combination like that. Okay, so I think I'm going to uh, start now adding the, the highlights of the tree trunk. I'm very excited with this part. I'll put something here, yeah. I will try to use a smaller brush, which is the number two nylon flat brush. I have here the red and the raw umber with some yellow, yeah. And then white. More yellow, it should be much more yellowish brown. Okay, so I'm planning, or I'm gonna put my highlights also here. You can create a uh, tighter details like that. There. Okay. And I'm going to try some orange red and the yellow but uh, it's just a little blue umber everyone so it will become uh, darker something There. I will add more like a roshena or a golden yellow, everyone. And also, here I'll try to put through this part a little bit here. It's still wet everyone so we need to be a little careful and also here there So again, some uh, some orange. There. Uh, the other 
your side everyone I'm gonna use a little darker brown also to create uh, also highlights there not just here in the front on the right side but also here we can create uh, diffuse lights or bouncing lights there some parts still wet so it must be a little problem adding those highlights also some uh, raw umber with the white you can also use this one uh, for other sides here but then do like that there and also everyone I'm gonna put some greenish so here I have yellow I'll try to put it here so just do it uh, slowly so on the bottom part I'm gonna make it much more greenish just blue and then yellow I'm going to make it a little lighter. Uh, it's always like that, everyone. Uh, all trees have really different colors on their body. Especially those uh, plants on their body, something like that. There. Okay, so I will try to use a smaller brush. Uh, I'll try to use the uh, zero uh, liner brush or round brush. I will put some details now. I will put some small lines or something like that. So I have here the raw umber with the purple. So it always look like black. I will start to put some smaller details everyone Also here. There. This part is so wet. <laughs> still, still wet. So we need to let it dry. And also here. 
but I have to do it uh, slowly bro. I'm going to uh, use so much my time for this because I know that uh, the more time you put on your painting uh, only the, the better the outcome yeah I'm gonna put also a little details here. Like it's a, it's a, The highlights very important. I will try to put much more yellowish highlights. So I have here the yellow or a little orange highlights and the white. Especially here, I'll try to put there. You can do it one by one, everyone. Just to create textures on this part, that's so good. Not everything will be will have uh, the highlights because some parts will be uh, covered by the casted shadows. So you should be also careful, but it's still up to you. Okay, also the greenish, I'll try to put more lighter greenish. Some lighter greenish here, yeah. So it looks good now. The tree looks uh, pretty awesome. The lights there, it looks good. But I'm not contented yet, everyone. I need to put more. But this time, I will try to put some more orange or something like a brownish orange. Also here. Yeah. 
The orange brown will make everything look alive. Look like wood. Put, put also a little here, maybe here. There. Okay. Yeah, this it looks very very old tree. And now this uh I will try to use some purple everyone. So I have blue and the red, more red and then white. I'll put more red and then white. And put on the back part like this. Uh, it's the bouncing light, everyone, coming from the left side. So it just look like a bluish stone there. There. Yeah, uh, this is so blue here. <laughs> but it's fine. Okay. I'll, uh, I will use more raw umber. Okay, so I think that will be fine everyone for the tree, yeah. And then next I will try to put some highlights on the on the leaves. So I'm going to do it one by one using this uh, small brush, this one. So I'm going to use this again or uh, yellow uh, with the yellow green here and white. So here I'll try to put so I'm using now this uh number one liner brush or, or round brush or zero or round zero liner brush one then put light there also and also here I will try to put one there
Okay. And also here. Okay. I also put like that. That means it doesn't uh, hit by the lights. I'm gonna put a little white. Okay, and now I'm gonna mix for uh, not so much light. Yellow and the blue again. Yeah, maybe something like that. Just yellow and the blue with a little lighter color in the background. Okay, I'll just do it one by one, everyone. There. it here and then I will use uh, uh, some dark green again to feel everything in the on the dark leaves so I have this yellow I'm gonna feel here I'm gonna add in this dark uh, purple yeah so I have now the dark green everyone so here I will do it one by one So as you can see the texture of the leaves now. What I like about this uh, this brush, everyone, is that we can create tinier details of the leaves. Okay, so just follow what I'm doing if you are actually painting with me. Also here. At 
guys you can now see clearly the the shape of the leaves here everyone you're seeing this uh one one method there it takes a lot of time but uh it will be worth it uh it will be a lot different than the other leaves that we, we created So here there so it's now looking very detailed looks good now okay yeah yeah I think I'm almost done everyone so I think the last part that I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to put some yellow flowers on the bottom part so using now again this uh, round brush or liner brush uh, zero uh, we will going to I'm going to put some flowers here but it will be much more yellowish flowers on this uh, plant here actually I saw this plant on some backyard or some And I like it, it looks good. Just that's everyone, small dots. Just use the pure yellow one. Okay. So make sure everyone that uh, your dots or flowers are consistent. And also here. there that would be enough and then I'll try to put some also some grasses also like this that we can see a little different grass 
it will be another another kind of uh, plants yeah okay everyone uh, lastly I'm going to put more okay so I think I am done and I wait everyone one more there yeah okay everyone so yeah it's final and I think I am done and so far I really love the entire result it looks so bright the color is good and um, yeah I'm very very contented with this one run uh, sometimes I feel disappointed with my other works because uh, maybe, maybe because of my mood but this time even if this is very very simple painting but for me it's really really good and looks looks uh, simple and realistic and it's good Okay, so if you are painting, please follow what I'm doing and always have fun. And I want to say thank you for following me today. Uh, if you are painting with me, uh, just follow everything, uh, my advice here. Everything that uh, you can do to make your painting better, okay? And always remember, this is just a guide. If, if you cannot get uh, the entire result like this one, it's okay, everyone. It's fine. As long as... Um, you're enjoying and you get the values the right values the, the dark and the lights so of this painting it will be good uh, just do like that do not mix so much uh, uh, like that uh, you are stressing yourself it takes time to learn uh, the techniques it takes time to learn the mixing of colors uh, the way you use the brush it always takes time so it's okay take your time and always practice uh, more practice uh, the better will become Okay everyone, so I want to say thank you for watching this video today and I hope you get something out of this. And my only advice is to keep on practicing, keep on painting. The more you do it, the more you know how to use your brush, the more you will know how to mix the colors. That's why I'm using limited colors in palette because I want you to learn how to, learn how to mix and get the desired colors you want. So please hit like, add some comments, subscribe for more videos in the future. Okay, once again, thank you. Have a nice day and God bless you all. All the glory and honor and praise always belongs to the Lord.